This will be an aquascaping video and I will show the full aquascape including the first tank mates that are going to be going in here. Uh, but first I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what I am trying to do here, what my goals are, what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, I not only want my aquariums to look as natural as possible, but I want them to have functioning ecosystems right from day one that are sustaining very diverse and robust self-sustaining uh, food webs. Also, I do not want my aquariums to require any man-made filtration. Uh, I don't want to have to clean my aquariums other than the, uh, the, you know, where I'm viewing them from, the front panel of glass here. Uh, I want to do very few, if any, water changes. I don't want to have to add uh, nutrients or supplements to my tanks. I don't want to use CO2. And I want them to be inexpensive. And I want to be able to leave my aquariums for weeks at a time and know that they're totally fine. That's the type of system that I'm trying to develop. And believe it or not, over the last couple of months, I've made some real progress. The uh, game changer for me on being able to do this is a collecting materials right from the wild. Pond water, substrate from ponds, uh, aquatic and subaquatic plants, bringing them in, putting them right in the aquarium, and uh, using them to bring in all the microfauna, microflora, all kinds of bacteria and funguses to really get the system started. I wanna jump right over the, uh, the cycling and right into the balancing. And uh, I've been making some real progress with that. Uh, right now what we got to do, because I'm losing daylight, I have to get down to my favorite local pond and grab me some fresh pond water. That's key with when you're getting the pond water. It has to be fresh. Don't let it sit too long. So the substrate's going to have uh, multiple layers. And right now what we're doing is we're making up that first layer. What this stuff here, I don't know if you can really see it or not. This is a combination of black and red lava rock, which uh, releases minerals right into the water. But also uh, it's a great spot for beneficial bacteria. It's so porous. Uh, I also got some clay substrate in here as well which will absorb nutrients when there's a lot of nutrients in the system and then over time it will release them back into the system. Uh, there's also some uh, some pea gravel in here and some fluval stratum. The fluval stratum is probably depleted because this was in an aquarium for about a year and a half and uh, when I do my water changes I, I top this bucket off and when I clean my sponge filters I clean it in here. Look how dirty this is. But that's how I'm making sure the bacteria stays uh, stays alive. Uh, let's go grab up some uh, some other material we're going to be adding right into this. So out here in the nook, you guys have probably seen this many times, the work tank, my 75 gallon work tank. So to that gravel we're going to be adding some of this sand. It's uh, pool filter sand. There's a little bit of fluval in there. There's a lot of uh, bacteria and um, nutrients already in here. Now I'll show you guys some more stuff that we have for the hardscape. So what we have is some rocks here. These are the same type of rock that I glued that driftwood on. I just found these outside, a bunch of it. But these are the same, same color and stuff, exact same type of rock. So this is what I'm using. Now, when I said I don't want to add nutrients, I mean after the tank is balanced. I want the the tank to be able to just, you know, recycle what's in there. But to start out, I do put a lot of stuff in there for nutrients. I got some crushed up root tabs here, some fluval stratum. It's a real nutrient rich and mineral rich uh, 
uh, aqua soil. And this stuff right here has been on my porch for quite a few months. That water is actually uh, rain water. The pea gravel that was in that bucket I showed you, I initially rinsed that with uh, a strainer. And this is the real small stuff. I saved it. I'll probably use this to help texture the tank. It's nice. Oh, and uh, I do have some pool filter and black blasting sand that's mixed up together. I'll probably, I may use that to cap, to cap everything. I also got some leaf litter here too as well that we'll be adding. Uh, right now we're going to go out on the porch and gather up some more goodies that I, uh, that I got from the pond. Got some pond water here. I know you probably can't tell, but I only fill the pond water up to about this level so that there's plenty of, uh, you know, atmosphere, oxygen, whatever in here. And as soon as I got home, I took the caps off. And over here, what we got is, I have no idea what these are, some kind of a plant. Look at the mud. <laughs> Look how tall they are. They're going to stick way out of the tank. Now what I'm doing is I'm removing a piece of moss that I have in here. And the reason for that is it is going to be loaded with all kinds of uh, microfauna, microflora, just all the goodies, all the good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll end up setting this into the aquarium it may not stay but it will sit there for a while after i got it all set up so that all that life has a chance to leave it and get into the tank and uh, i'll add the water that's in here too now what i'm doing am i recording yeah that's good now what i'm doing is getting some of the sand this sand came from oh it should be sand in here this sand will be great. So look at our goodies. Look at all this stuff. I think maybe a lot of you, when you clicked on this video, you were just going to watch a real quick aquascape video. If I'm surprising you so far and you're liking what you see, this would be a great time for you to hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. Then watch a little more, and if you're still liking what you're seeing, you know, I'd love for you to subscribe. I just broke 500 subscribers. I'd love to get 1,000. Every penny will go right back into the, into the channel. Comments help a lot, too, and so does sharing the videos.
So if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button and leave a comment. Even if it's only a thumbs up or an exclamation mark, something so that YouTube uh, sees that people like this and start sending these videos out to more people. That's the only way I'm going to get to a thousand subscribers. It's a lot of extra work, all the filming and the editing, and I want to continue to do that. But I really need the channel to grow. So please, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Thank you.